We couldn't be more excited to have our CLC students and also graduates here with us sharing our viewpoints. So we have Sandhya, Robert, Heather, and Ashley. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And so Heather, what did you enjoy most about your chosen career path? So as a health and wellness and fitness professional, I think that I like the most just to be able to see people change and grow and become something more than what they thought that they were able to be. Absolutely, thank you. And then Ashley, what was your defining moment when you felt this is it, this is the field for me? So I was actually going into a completely different field of study and I know that I was gonna go down a different path for education. And I went into the advisors and counseling office and they were like, have you tried looking into our massage therapy program? And I was like, uh, why? They're like, it's hands on. It'd be kind of cool for you to get your hands in, you know? And I'm like, okay, maybe that would be something I want to do. So I, it was, it all started there. And then Sandhya, is this a program that you would recommend to others? And if so, why? Absolutely. I would definitely recommend this program being a graduate of, um, you know, I got the AS degree here with a focus on um, health and wellness coaching. And now I own my own business. And over the years, I think um, I've been able to appreciate the breadth of knowledge that you get through this program and not mm -hmm. just the breadth, but the depth too. You know, the, the faculty is fabulous and they ensure <laughs> <laughs> and they ensure that you are well prepared um, before you head out into the world, into into the workforce. Thank you. I always take compliments. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and well deserved. I oh, appreciate it. And Robert, what did you like the most about the program here at CLC? I'd have to say the faculty. Um, in this line of work, uh, in our profession, um, it's very people centric, mm -hmm. and um, whether whether in any type of business. Oftentimes, the, they say put the customer first, and while the client is very important, for a massage therapist or in, in our profession, people are important. Mm -hmm. And I think the college CLC exemplifies that fact, not only in uh, teaching us um, the importance of how we treat the client, but also how they treated us as students mm -hmm. um, and cohorts. Mm -hmm. um, the relationship that's formed between the faculty and the students is fantastic. Absolutely. And I heard you talk about the cohort. If you can talk a little bit more about um, the cohort. Well, the cohort's an opportunity for students to come together and really bond. I mean, um, you've got diverse personalities and backgrounds coming together, not only um, people that are working other jobs maybe, that have families, some are raising kids at the same time. Some are young students, um, but there's a lot of shared knowledge. There's a lot of shared experience that can happen. And um, the bonding is fantastic and can actually help you and carry you through a program that um, is demanding at times, um, but, but the strength that you get from your fellow classmates is wonderful. It's like we're a family, you know, because we're together for so many months that even if we do have a disagreement, we work it out because we're a family. The cohort isn't just a class, it's it's your family, all the teachers and everyone wants to help you succeed. They don't want to see you fail. This is this is a real life line of work to go into that actually really help people. And so what you were saying was I completely agree with. Right. And so our massage therapy program being a cohort model, but then our personal training, exercise science, health mm -hmm. and wellness coaching isn't necessarily cohort. Um, but if you guys can speak to your experiences in terms of the support that you felt. Oh, absolutely. And I think, you know, when you Ashley mentioned about her, the cohort being a family, even though wellness coaching is, was not a cohort and is not, um, but there were a lot of returning students um, just like me when I was going through the program, and there is a shared bond. We were in this together, and um, it, it was generally fun for us to come to class, to be together, to study together, and, and for us as returning students, we were doing this all over again, <laughs> and it was just an enjoyable experience, and it's been quite a few years since I graduated, and I'm still in touch with a few of the people that I met at CLC so many years ago, and we're still friends. And so I absolutely agree, it's just like a family. 
So for me in the personal training and the wellness coaching sections, I, while we weren't in a cohort specifically, each class individually felt like a family. We made our own cohort depending on the classes that we were in. We all had similar goals and aspirations. So we would form study groups. We made little family pods together <laughs> and we just kind of built our own little thing that made it work for us and our program. All right. And Sanya, were you able to find work-life balance um, through home, school, work? Um, I did. Um, I would definitely say that there were times when it was hard, you know. Uh, my kids were much younger at that time. Uh, my husband needed surgery, but I would still say, you know, going back to the support system of CLC and the people we, we met here at that time, I was able to find that balance. We were, you know, I had a lot of support um, at CLC to get me through that. And um, the faculty, again, was so supportive. Anytime I needed that extra help, I could find that. And I think they were crucial in helping me find that balance between work and school and family and making sure that I succeeded. Well, I, I saw you smile. So well, I think, I think um, it, it's definitely as a challenge. Um, but I think if you have desire, determination, and dedication, if you can bring those three things to the table when you take on the challenge of having other outside interests as well, you can accomplish it. It's doable with the help of the, the college um, and the help of the faculty and the help of your cohorts that carry mm -hmm. you at times. Um, and it's definitely doable. Right. And I was the mom with books taking my son to basketball practice <laughs> and sitting down the sidelines studying while he was playing. That was great. Gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. <laughs> I mean, Corley can relate to you right now. <laughs> So Robert, if you can share with us uh, any advancements that you had opportunities to make in the field. Um, well, interestingly, I'm, uh, I've opened my own business since graduation, uh, a wellness clinic, and um, uh, I've actually taken the uh, benefits of massage therapy, um, primarily stress relief, and brought it to um, different uh, challenged communities of individuals, Parkinson's groups, um, MS patients, cancer patients, and I'm working with various um, groups like this to introduce massage therapy as an additional form of their wellness program. Um, and additionally, we've been experimenting a little playfully with uh, offering some different incentives for our massage programs. We've been combining guided meditations along with massage, mm -hmm. um, which has been wonderful and really well received. So. Um, Again, uh, creativity lends itself well to this field, and um, um, I, I look forward to the future even and, and seeing what else comes along. And Heather, when you reflect back on your time, whether in our program or just within this field, what is a favorite memory that you have? My favorite memory would have to be probably when it clicked. Knowing, so when I started, I had been in the medical field prior. I was a nursing assistant for five and a half years at a nursing home doing rehab work. So I was helping people after they had already gotten sick and needed the help and realizing that I can help people on the prevention side and helping them be proactive in their health. I was like, this is it. This is where I need to be. I The reactive care isn't where I want to be and the proactive care is. So that memory of just sitting in class and the light bulb going off and I was like, I'm in the right place now. All right. And Ashley, do you, as a current student right now, do you have any advice for future health and wellness practitioners or massage therapists, future students in general? So I recommend that everyone use their, the, what CLC has to offer, like the OSC office or the counseling center, the library, the tutoring center is amazing. I mean, I've gone there for other classes. I mean, they, everyone really wants to help you. Like I was saying before, 
and it's it's important that you fully understand what you're doing before you get into this field and that's what CLC wants you to do it's not like let's throw you into the ocean and hope you can swim you know no they they really set you up so you know exactly what you're doing and you're comfortable with what you're doing it's it's really not easy work but it's work that is needed and mm -hmm. And it really does have a benefit on people's bodies. Robert, would you like to share any future advice? Um, I would go back to desire, dedication, and determination. Yes. Um, just Absolutely. simply have the drive. Um, no matter what you do. I mean, that's what you need to bring to life, and that's what you need to bring to the college, and that'll take you far. Yeah. Sandra, how about you? What future advice do you have? Um, I would say um, keep an open mind, you know, as you graduate. CLC has a wonderful uh, resident professional program, whether it's wellness coaching, uh, personal training or massage therapy, that is absolutely fabulous. Uh, and whether it's a job or opening up your own practice, I think it's essential that we explore different possibilities and find that um, the area that really suits our personalities. And so it would be nice to keep an open mind and give yourself the space and time to figure out which area, what kind of work are you best suited for? And patience on top of that. <laughs> <Lots> of patience. <laughs> and Heather, what are the employment opportunities like out there? So the employment opportunities are pretty much endless from what I found. There's so many areas, there's so many different types of facilities that you can go to. When I finished the program, I had two opportunities provided to me and offered to me, but I decided to actually turn them down because that wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to be an entrepreneur and open my own gym. And so that's what I did instead of taking the positions. So the opportunities are really whatever you make them. You can kind of do just about anything. Heather, would you have any last words of advice? Follow your dreams. If you have a goal or a dream in mind, don't sell yourself short. Work hard, do the work, put the effort in, and don't let anyone tell you no. Thank you all for being here and encourage all of you to watch all of the other videos and also click on the links to learn more about our programs.